Okay, let's test this out. Uh, we're running uh, Windows 10 in a virtual environment. That's where I installed SAS. Here it is. It's already loaded. Okay, here's the pro um, the log. Here's my program. Um, here's some changes I just added from uh, based on the the email that I got uh, from the professor. Just recommendation. Uh, I record things in the comments so I won't forget. So as I'm learning, I keep everything here. Uh, here's my little modification. I'm I'm looking to uh, create a new variable, and I'm combining um, these uh, this variable and their output into that one. Make it real simple. So here's some other you know this is a little bit about the uh, variable that I'm playing with. Um, this is the Liker scale, I guess. Uh, strongly agree, agree, you know, the usual. Okay, so let's run the program. Boosh! Okay, CPU usage goes through the roof. This is uh, AMD 6 core, nothing extravagant. It's like three years old. Gonna upgrade that puppy soon, I hope. Okay, here's our output. Boom! And of course, uh, all the other variables. Uh, SAS did not want to run in Linux, unfortunately. Uh, I came really close, um, but uh, it just didn't happen. I, I don't know if I have it right now. Uh, SAS. And you have to go to SAS Foundation. Or else, bin. This is what happens when I try and run it real close to getting this to work. There's really only one error. Uh, it all revolves around uh, a file up here. Where is it at? Um, yeah, right here. I have this, in fi this file installed. It just doesn't know where it's at, apparently, or can't open it. That's the only thing holding me back, I believe. So SAS for Linux for Ubuntu didn't quite work, but Windows 10 you know, we're